Hi everyone, I'm Mark Pringle, Board Chair of Homeport, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you to another unique celebration. We have referred to events like today's as unique because we are holding them remotely in deference to the pandemic. But today's program is different for other reasons. We are celebrating not one, but two affordable developments we have built and recently opened, Black Lake Crossing and Arrowleaf Apartments. Adding to that difference is that both communities are outside the city limits of Columbus with Black Lake Crossing being in Reynoldsburg and Arrowleaf in Grove City. It is why we are calling the program Making Room for Affordable Housing, Columbus Suburbs. The program today reflects Homeport's commitment to address something you may have heard many times, a community shortfall measured by 54,000 families paying at least 50% of their household income for rent. This shortfall reflects a regional need, not one confined by the city of Columbus. So to get additional details on these endeavors, let's listen to Homeport's president and CEO, Bruce Lukey. Thank you, Mark. And hello, everyone. I'm Homeport president and CEO, Bruce Lukey, and welcome to today's virtual celebration of two of our most recently opened affordable housing communities, Arrowleaf in Grove City and Blacklick Crossing in Reynoldsburg. As you can tell, there's a reason why we have titled today's program, Making Room for Affordable Housing, Columbus Suburbs. The title says it all. The need for quality, affordable housing in central Ohio extends beyond the city limits of Columbus or even Franklin County. In hammering home that message, our program today has multiple purposes. First, to learn about the demand for affordable housing in the suburbs. Secondly, to celebrate our suburban municipal partners and listen to why they support affordable housing in their communities. Third, to recognize and to hear from Spire Development, our co-developer at Arrowleaf, as well as from the government partners, the investors and the lenders without whom none of this could happen. And lastly, the who and the why. We will listen to residents of Homeport's latest suburban developments explain how their lives have been enhanced with a new Homeport homes. So let's begin. Many of you know, but it bears repeating, there are an estimated 54,000 households paying at least 50% of their incomes to rent not only in the city of Columbus, but beyond the city of Columbus. Many live paycheck to paycheck, an unexpected expense from possible eviction, be it a broken down car, loss of a job, or an illness. They're hardworking folks, sometimes forced to choose between things like food and medicine. Well, that's where Homeport steps in, as it has for 34 years. Wherever we go, we impact people with quality, affordable housing and connections to food, furniture, or emergency funds, not to mention our own in-house financial fitness classes and one-on-one -on -one counseling. One measure of the stability of our average home port resident is that he or she lives more than six years in their home. That's virtually three times longer than the average market rate resident. Our holistic approach affects not only those who pay the rent, but their children too. We are multi-generation in impact. In fact, a 2020 Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission study noted, and I quote, housing stability has been tied to a range of positive outcomes for children, their families, and seniors improved mental and physical health, school performance, and personal safety. That's why Homeport exists. And that's why we are here today to celebrate communities throughout the region who see the value of what we do. That said, we can't do it alone. We need progressive suburban partners like Grove City and Reynoldsburg. It is why I am glad today you will hear from Grove City Mayor Ike Stage and Reynoldsburg Mayor Joe Begany. 
Reynolds Berg and Grove City leaders understand the importance of attracting businesses to their communities, but they also see the value of having people who work in those businesses live in their communities too. This past year, 28 families moved into Arrowleaf in Grove City. They now enjoy one, two, and three bedroom apartments with energy efficient appliances and fixtures, off street parking, a playground area and cardio fitness room. Low rents and quality amenities have, all, have also come to the family, 30 families who in 2019 and 2020 moved into Black Lick Crossing in Reynoldsburg, right across the street from Black Lick Woods Metro Park. Many families, well beyond the 30 apartment homes available, stood in line even before daylight for an application to live in Blackwood Crossing, including sisters Lakeisha and Jasmine Harrell. The sisters and their small children were sharing a home with little space. Today, they now live down the street from each other in separate townhomes at Blackwood Crossing. Said Lakeisha after moving in, affordable housing is much needed in our city and our communities. I am able to live in a new home, in a nice area, and still be able to provide my daughter with the things that she needs. In a few minutes, you will also hear from an original Arrowleaf resident, Jana Sherritt. Jana loves her one bedroom apartment, the layout, and the affordability. A customer service rep earning $13.39 an hour, she enjoys a monthly rent savings of 30% living in Arrowleaf. She says, there are a lot of nice people like me who just don't make a lot of money, but need a nice place to live that they can afford. So let's hear from the Harrell sisters at Black Lick Crossing and Jana Sherritt at Arrowleaf. I knew that I wanted better for my daughter. I knew I wanted it. Like I had talked about living in Reynoldsburg and then I got the call from Michelle and I remember we were driving, I said, oh my God! And then I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cried. It was tears of joy because we both, it was a like a new beginning for the both of us. I love the area. Um, I love the fact that we're across the street from the park. I loved it from like the moment they opened the door. I even ran up through her house. <laughs> like, you know, it was my own. And I know that I have to be strong because I have this little strong-minded little girl who's, you know, looking up to me and I have to set the example for her. And I think where we are now, you know, it's, it plays a part because she's who I have to be strong for and she's who I'm building a foundation for. So it's for her. I think that people lose faith on, you know, just housing out there, giving them an opportunity and then you guys did open the door for me regardless of my circumstances you guys helped so i'm thankful for that i'm blessed and thankful to be here the area that i'm in um, i'm thankful and i think it's very needed thank you homeport for giving my daughter and i the opportunity to have a better living i do just want to say thank you and i'm still looking forward to what you guys have in store Thank you, Mommy, for my new home. This, there's a creek over here and some woods. And on the other side is the apartment complex. When I moved in that apartment complex, I could hear all the noise over here because they were building this place. So all summer long and all winter long, that's all we heard was construction. And it drove us crazy. There was a lot of noise, because it's not very far. And I had no clue what was going in here. And then my son-in-law found Arrowleaf on the, and Google on the computer. And finally I put two and two together and realized that the apartment complex I was interested in was the apartment complex they were building the whole time I was living there. It was scary when I was first looking for a place on my own. Because, I mean, I don't make that much money. I, 
I work full time and I get whatever extra hours I can get. But basically rent is one of my paychecks and I only get two a month. So living here, it doesn't take my whole paycheck. I still have a couple hundred dollars left over, which is nice. Whereas when I was living over here, the rent was almost $1,000 a month and I had to have a roommate because I couldn't afford it on my own. And I didn't want to live with a roommate. I wanted to live on my own. This was a godsend for me. It's awesome to be able to have my own place and not have to get help from anybody else. To be able to pay my own bills and be independent. Yeah, I've lived in Grove City for 25 years and it's by far my favorite place to live. So, and my daughter lives here and she's only five minutes away and I wanted to stay close. So it's perfect. Well, it's a beautiful neighborhood. I'm back here in a cul-de-sac where there is no other traffic or, or anything. Um, it's small, which I like. It's very small. I don't think there's really that many apartments in here. Maybe, what, 20? You know, there isn't that many. It's pretty small. Um, it's close to everything. I'm right off of Stringtown Road, but I don't hear, I'm not close to it, you know, noise-wise. And I've had people over to look at the apartment and the layout is so cool because you, you can walk a circle in the whole apartment. And the closet, you can walk through the closet and that's where my washer and dryer are also. But there's doors, you can shut the closet off if you want to. Um, and I believe we were talking earlier, I do have friends who are jealous. So, and it's easy to clean too, because um, it's so small. I love the kitchen, this great big huge countertop. And I have more cabinet space in my kitchen than my daughter does in her house. And we need more apartments like this for sure. There's a lot of people like me who don't, who make a median income who don't, who aren't rich, you know. Uh, I work full time, but I only make less than $14 an hour. It's a great job. I have, you know, great benefits, but I wouldn't be able to make it. Yeah, come here, Bella. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. <sighs> Thank you, Lakeisha, Jasmine, and Jana. And now, I'd like to introduce you to the co-developer of Arrowleaf, Spire Development Partner, Scott Harold. Hi, everybody. This is Scott Harold from Spire Development. I hope everybody is well and healthy. I wanted to welcome you to this virtual event for Arrowleaf Apartments. For those of you that don't know, Arrowleaf Apartments is a 28-unit workforce housing project located in Grove City, Ohio, and the project was co-developed by Spire Development and Homeport. It offers a new high quality affordable housing option for working families in the area, earning between 30% to 70% of the area median income and received its Enterprise Green Communities certification. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and thank all the organizations that made this project possible. Ohio Capital Corporation for housing and all of your investors, River Hills Bank, Franklin County for your generous home funds investment, Fairfield Homes, Inc., who served as general contractor and as the property manager, and all of the architects at Berardi Partners. Last but certainly not least, we wanted to thank our friends at Ohio Housing Finance Agency for all of your support and resources without which Airleaf Apartments and other projects like it across the state would not be possible. We thank you for your partnership and your mission. We hope to see everybody out on sites again real soon. In the meantime, stay healthy. Stay safe. And again, thank you to Homeport for your partnership and for organizing this event. We look forward to working with you again on the next project. Hi, I'm Franklin County Commission President Kevin Boyce. And let me begin by saying congratulations and thank you to Homeport for all that you do to help us address affordable housing issues in Central Ohio. Let me also congratulate and recognize Arrow Leaf in Grove City, and Black Lake Crossing in Reynoldsburg. Making a room for affordable housing is core to our values and impacts all of us. And so thank you for representing such a core and valuable need. 
You know, one of the things that we learned in studying poverty in Central Ohio was that core to the quality of life measurement for everyone is housing. And we also know that we're already, as of today, 50,000 affordable unit houses short of what we need to provide so that everyone has at least access to affordable housing. So Homeport, thank you. Thank you for being our partner in this battle and thank you for representing those who perhaps can't be at the table to represent themselves. What you're doing is making a big difference. And I also wanna to say to our suburban partners, thank you. Thank you for understanding that we're all in this together. And if we can continue to invest together, Central Ohio certainly will be the best place in America to live, work, and raise a family. Thank you and God bless you all. Hi, my name is Ike Stage. I happen to have the privilege of being the mayor of the city of Grove City. And I'm so pleased that I've been asked by Homeport to be part of the opening celebration of the Arrowleaf Apartments here in Grove City. What a great project. One of the things we pride ourselves here in Grove City is being diversified. And with these 28 units that they're opening up, it adds to that plan of being a, a, a all-encompassing, all-diversified uh, community. One of the things that we did a number of years ago was put together what we call a 2050 plan. And in the 2050 plan, we said that we might we gotta make sure we have housing available for our workforce. And Aeroleaf has been part of that solution of having affordable workforce housing. So it's our pleasure to welcome Aeroleaf and uh, be part of Homeport's overall objective to being able to supply uh, workforce housing. We are pleased not only with the fact that uh, Homeport has chosen Grove City, but one of the unique things about Aeroleaf, it's next to shopping and it's next to affordable and public transportation. So uh, we have a win-win for us. We have a win-win for our uh, community as a whole of Central Ohio and a win-win for Homeport in, in being able to fulfill their goals in, in uh, delivering affordable housing. So thank you very much. Good luck, Homeport. Have fun with Aeroleaf. Hi, I'm Congressman Steve Stivers. I'm so sorry that I couldn't be with you today to celebrate in person, but I want to congratulate Homeport on the amazing success. I want to thank Bruce Lukey and the entire team for everything that you continue to do. You know, as the ranking member on the subcommittee on housing and insurance, uh, I focus on helping people build the dream of home ownership. That's what Homeport's been all about. Uh, I really appreciate what you've done as a strong partner. And I think today's celebration is a glimpse into the impact that Homeport is having to help people and to live their own American dream. They've helped empower Ohioans, helped give them the tools to become homeowners. They've built stronger communities by breaking down obstacles that stand in the way of homeownership. Homeport's brought our communities together. And we see that today, and I don't think they're slowing down in their mission to help develop stronger communities. I want to thank you and celebrate everybody uh, that helped make this Arrowleaf apartment in Grove City possible. Thank you, Homeport. Congratulations. Enjoy your celebration. Troy Balderson here. Thanks for allowing me to join in today's celebration. We've come a long way in the last year, adapting and overcoming challenges as a community in the face of COVID-19. Breaking ground on this new location marks a major milestone in the journey toward completion of this long-awaited project. With 30 new units located across from Black Lick Woods Metro Park, I know this development will serve families well for generations to come. Thanks again for allowing me to be part of this special day and to the entire Homeport team that's working to make this project a reality. 
Hi, my name is Joe Begany. I'm the mayor of Reynoldsburg, and I'd like to thank you for having me at your virtual celebration for the Black Lake Crossing uh, apartment home development. Uh, it's a great development. We're very excited to have it here in Reynoldsburg. Uh, it's got a great location. You're in walking distance of two schools, including the Livingston High School campus, as well as Herbert Mills Elementary School. And you're right across from the first Metro Park in the uh, Franklin County at Black Lake Metro Parks. Uh, it's a great opportunity uh, to be a, a part of this uh, here in Reynoldsburg. Uh, it's a lot of variety for people who are looking for their living needs. Uh, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom homes, all with uh, you know, the attached garage. Um, and it's built the way that things need to be built today. It's, uh, it's cost efficient and energy efficient, including uh, some of the best things to meet with our green tomato initiative that we have here in Reynoldsburg to make us a more sustainable city. Uh, it's, again, it's one of those things that we're just happy to have here, especially considering the housing shortage that is in central Ohio in general. Uh, it's a big issue for me here in Reynoldsburg uh, to make sure that not only do people have a place to live, but a place that they can afford to live and where they feel welcome and safe. And here in Reynoldsburg, we do welcome all of the community members uh, from Black Lake Crossing. So from uh, my office to everyone out there watching, we do appreciate it. And thanks again for choosing Reynoldsburg to be our community that you're living in. Thanks. Good afternoon to the Homeport Board of Directors, President and CEO Bruce Luke, uh, my friend and Senior Vice President of Community and Governmental Relations, Maude Hill, and the rest of the executive leadership team, staff, and volunteers. I'm State Senator Herschel Craig. Today, I am honored to help celebrate the Arrowleaf Apartments and Black Lake Crossing communities. For decades, home porters have filled a critical gap in our community by providing essential affordable housing needs to thousands of families and children in Central Ohio. The Arrowleaf Apartments and Black Lake Crossing projects provide rental housing for low and modern income families in Central Ohio. The facilities offer nearly 60 new apartments and townhouse units. Both complex offer great resources for residents, including play areas and fitness rooms. Both structures are also designed to be energy efficient, which ensures that they're also cost efficient. It is clear the COVID-19 pandemic has magnified the need for affordable housing, and it is crucial that this need is being met. These facilities are an excellent resource for the residents of Central Ohio, and I am pleased to see them brought to light. Thank you, Homeport, and your partners for your commit commitment to affordable and accessible housing. Hello, my name is Sean Smith, and I'm the Interim Executive Director for the Ohio Housing Finance Agency. It's a pleasure to join you virtually for the grand opening of both Arrowleaf Apartments and Blacklit Crossing. OFA is a state agency that administers the housing tax credit program and several gap financing programs that help produce or preserve thousands of affordable housing units every year. Governor DeWine's administration is committed to increasing the amount of new affordable housing available to our state's families and workforce. To that end, OFA was pleased to award $504,000 in annual housing credits a $1.25 million housing development loan, and $300,000 in home funds to Homeport for Aeroleaf. We were also pleased to award $540,000 in annual housing tax credits, a $1.5 million housing development loan, and $300,000 in Ohio Housing Trust Funds for Blacklit Crossing. The housing development loans that our agency contributed to these developments were made possible through a partnership between OFA and the Ohio Department of Commerce. The Home and Housing Trust Funds were made possible through a partnership with the Ohio Development Services Agency. The development of high quality, affordable housing in central Ohio communities like Grove City and Reynoldsburg are critical to the success of Ohio's families and our workforce. Through a key partnership with the Kerwin Institute for the Study of Race and Ethnicity at The Ohio State University, OFA has incentivized the siting of new developments like Arrowleaf and Black Lake Crossing in high opportunity areas. Those with good schools, access to transportation, access to jobs, and other components critical to residents' success. On behalf of Governor Mike DeWine, the OFA board and our staff I'd like to congratulate the development team and our fellow financial partners, including Homeport, Spire Development, Franklin County, Ohio Capital Corporation for Housing, River Hills Bank, Fairfield Homes, 
Wallach, or Silly Construction, and many others. Our agency recognizes all of the hard work that goes into the planning of developments like this and in the even greater commitment and perseverance that it takes to identify and build the requisite partnerships and financial resources to get them across the finish line. Homeport, Spire Development, and the rest of the project participants are all great partners of our agency and they're doing great work both here in central Ohio and across the entire state. The team at OFA looks forward to continuing to work with all of you in the future to fulfill our shared mission of opening doors to a place to call home. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katherine Cawthon, President and CEO of Ohio Capital Corporation for Housing. OCCH is incredibly proud to be a partner with Homeport on Arrowleaf Apartments, as well as Black Lick Crossing Developments. Our decades-long partnership with Homeport has resulted in impactful affordable housing with always the main focus being the residents. Providing safe, comfortable, and of course affordable housing, we thank Homeport for including OCCH on two more successful impactful housing developments located in Central Ohio. Arrowleaf Apartments, strategically located to enhance day-to-day -day living for the residents by being near to amenities, as well as ample job opportunities. Homeport, once again, has put great effort on the design of these units, really focusing on the needs of families who call their unit home. And Black Lick Crossing is an example of another project developed with the needs of the residents in mind, one and two level units with some reserved for the very low income residents. Homeport is uniquely committed to their developments with tenant services available if residents need assistance through their many partnerships across Central Ohio. Congratulations from the entire staff to all of the organizations coming together to make both Arrowleaf Apartments and Blacklick Crossing a true success for the residents. Good morning. I'm Steve Gladman, the president of the Affordable Housing Trust for Columbus and Franklin County. On behalf of the board of directors and our funding partners, the city of Columbus and Franklin County, I want to congratulate Homeport on their latest two projects that will provide additional affordable housing in Franklin County, which is much needed. The Affordable Housing Trust and Homeport have had a relationship going back to 2001. Homeport is one of our earliest borrowers and has continued to work with us and others to ensure Franklin County adds additional housing and preserves the much needed affordable housing. These two projects will create a total of 58 units of either workforce housing or family housing. Both workforce and family housing are very much in need and very hard to develop in the current economic environment. We congratulate Homeport on their continued success and are very pleased to have been part of the below market financing structure that assisted this project in keeping the affordability targets. My name is Brian Dunlap and I'm the president of River Hills Bank. My message for this group on this day is one of appreciation. I appreciate the developers who dreamed up these projects. I appreciate the architects that designed them. I appreciate the people that applied for the various sources of funding. I appreciate the people that built the projects. I appreciate the people that leased the projects. Most of all, I appreciate that the residents and the surrounding community will benefit from these projects for years to come. I also appreciate the opportunity River Hills Bank was given to use our depositors' money to do good in the world. You see here at River Hills Bank, we don't believe that making money and doing good things is mutually exclusive. So we appreciate the decision makers and all of our partners in allowing us to be part of this deal so that we can make good on that promise by being just a very small part of making these communities better. Thank you for your time. This concludes our celebration. We hope you enjoyed watching our sub on participating in making room for affordable housing, Columbus suburbs. Please stay in touch with us. And as always, thank you.